I am out here at Bonneville Salt Flats because I am going to attempt to remove all of the checkerboard red flame stuff and I'm going to use natural heat rather than a heat gun to take it off. I really just want to make this rig my own and I feel that these decals don't really match me or my style and I will show you the whole process. First process is change clothes. So in order to enjoy the salt flats properly and not have a miserable day the next day, you gotta dress appropriately. I always recommend remembering your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. We could start singing, but we won't, I'll spare you. Just remember to cover your head. Full brim hat is usually the best. Long sleeve shirt to protect your arms, and then pants to cover your legs and shoes. But two things that people almost always forget is always wear sunscreen, that's right. And then always remember that it's always sunny when you're cool and wear sunglasses while you're out here enjoying the salt flats. It was really cool before I even got started, this bird came out of nowhere. Keep in mind, I'm miles away from anything in the middle of the salt flats. So I hung out with this bird for a little bit. in the middle of the desert, in the middle of the day. Surfaces can get up to 150 degrees just being out in the sun. And that's the heat that I decided to use for this project. One of the things you wanna keep in mind is you don't wanna scratch anything while you're doing this. So I use a plastic razor blade to get it started and then I'm gonna pull uh, slowly and equally. That's, I'm gonna put this in my pocket and then pull with both hands. Hopefully it's heated up enough. It feels like it's hot enough. So hopefully it's heated up enough to loosen that adhesive for the decals. So this is how you do it. If you're lucky enough to get a really good spot, take your time, go slow, otherwise it'll tear and you'll have to start the process all over again. It took me several days to do this. I was hoping to get it done in less time, but this was a lot of work. So be prepared if you decide to do this on your own. The front of the RV was kind of hard because I had a protective film on the front which was over the decal unfortunately. So I had to remove the protective guard first which took a lot of muscle. That stuff was really baked on there. But it came off and it came off in pretty good pieces. Removing the decals after I got the protective shield 
was the same as everywhere else. wondering, this is what your decals will look like when you are finished removing them. As hard as you try, it's going to be hard to get all of the residue off as you remove the decals. That is the reason I used Rapid Remover Adhesive Remover. Spray it, you let it sit for a little while, and then you can take the plastic razor blade and scrape it off. After using the rapid remover to remove any adhesive that was left over, you also want to make sure that you rinse it off with water and wipe it down with a terry cloth. One of the hardest parts is making sure you remove all of the leftover adhesive from everywhere on the rig. For deoxidation, you'll want a polisher if you want to get the job done in any reasonable amount of time. You'll also need polishing pads that you will put on that polisher. The oxidation remover that I used here worked like a champ. You're going to need some microfiber cloths for sure along with some terry cloths. What you do is apply the deoxidation polish onto the polisher pad and you polish the entire surface. This will remove the deoxidation process and make it nice and shiny just like it was brand new. For the deoxidation process, you actually want to be in the shade side of the rig. You can see the shininess of where the decals were protecting the body of the rig with the word Simba. You can also see where the sun has oxidized the surface outside of where those decals were protecting it. Through the process of deoxidation, you make it all shiny again. of the decal removal and the deoxidation process, I am super excited to put on my personal touch and add my logo to the side of my rig. <laughs> that is going to look so freaking amazing.
Well, that took several days and a lot of hard work, but it's been great spending the last few minutes with you. As always, feel free to watch the next video.